Hi Rokit, how many calories are there in this meal here today? I'm wearing a new pair of AR glasses from Rokit. It is on Kickstarter right now and at the time of recording this video, it has raised over $2.2 million. Now, if you are familiar with the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, this is essentially a supercharged version of that that has two micro OLED screens, which is built right into the glass. So it projects graphics Medication and text right in front of your field of view, which you can then read and this is something that the Ray-Ban Meta doesn't have. It also uses ChatGPT to power the AI functions without requiring a login so it doesn't mess up your chat GPT history or memory. It has translation built in. The translated text is directly put up right in front of you, literally, visually, so that you can read it without it trying to play back and interrupting the person you're speaking to. Now, if all this is not enough, there are others. Teleprompter, voice recording, photos, videos, the navigation, music playback. It also has notification that floats right in front of your eyes, not just audio prompting. All right, so let's start with the unboxing so that you know exactly what you're finding inside the package. Now, the Rokit Smart AI glasses, when you unbox it, you will find a couple of items. And first off, you will see this package itself. This is where the glasses are. Now, this carrying case is quite stylish, but it is not a charging case. Now, Rokit will actually provide a charging case because they have already hit $1 million. In fact, they have done $2.2 million on Kickstarter as we speak. So they will be providing the $99 charging case when you fund the Kickstarter project. Okay, so let's put this aside and see what else we get. Right here, you have a piece of cleaning cloth. And the cleaning cloth, I have not started using it, but well, there is a branded, well, Rokit branded cloth. And over here, you will find two other items. First item right here is actually a charging adapter. Um, I haven't opened it, but basically the cable that comes with Rokit, it is to charge the um, glasses itself. So it clips magnetically to the end of the side frame. And the other side is a USB-A. Now this actually is a USB-C adapter. So if you are only using USB-C cable, you can actually use this. Now on the other side of this case, you will get two more temple, uh, two more nose bridge. Now this nose bridge will replace what you have here. I think it's for different sizing. So Rokit also provides these. These are clip-ons. They magnetically attach to the inside of your glasses so that if you need any kind of degree or power in your lenses, you can actually have these customized so that you can clip them in. Now, putting this aside, let's talk about the glasses itself. Now, when you get this pair, it is actually pretty light at 49 grams, just 49 grams. And it looks very, very discreet. It doesn't look like it's any sort of AI glasses at all, much less having a screen on the inside, if you can see that projection right now. Now on the temple of these glasses, you will get a slight, these are capacitive control. There is a button right up here, which you can click to start taking photos, record videos. The mics are actually built into the temple itself, and there are speakers that will project the sound right here into your ears. Now these screens here, they are micro OLED screens, which is green in color. So you will be able to see graphics and text that's projected. I will show you in clearer detail how these looks when it's projected into your field of view. Counter has started. So if the chat GPT AI functions and translations are not enough for you, you also have access to teleprompter, voice memo recordings, photos, taking videos, navigation, and music playback. Now, in fact, I'm now reading off the script using the teleprompter function that is displaying the text right in front of my eyes. The micro OLED display is also able to display notifications for you, not just reading them out loud. Besides using this phrase to open the AI assistant, you can also tap on the side of the temple, hold it, and it will start listening. If Adolf Hitler were still to be alive today, how old do you think he would be today? If Adolf Hitler were still alive today, in 2025, he would be 136 years old since he was born on April 20,000, 
188.9. So the Rokit Smart AI glasses, they are actually ultra light at just 49 grams and yet they are packed with some major all-in-one features. You can control them in a multiple ways by using the physical buttons to take the photos or record video, which is right up here, this button here. You can actually just click and it will take a photo or you can hold and take videos. Now the videos, they can go up to 10 minutes long and you can take landscape, you can take portrait mode videos as well as photos and you can select them all through the Rokit app itself. There are dual speakers audio that is built into the temple for music playback. Even if you are watching video on your phone, you will be able to get the music and the sound that is playing on the phone broadcasted through Bluetooth via these speakers. The speakers are right here. It actually goes quite near to your ear, so you are able to hear them quite well. And by swiping the touch panel on the right temple, you can navigate the UI. And this is how it actually looks like. Now the 12 megapixel camera, which is right here, it has image stabilization. The colors are great. It adapts to lighting conditions very well as I'm showing in my videos right here. The adaptation is actually fast and fluid and there's no shock when it comes to changing the white balance or controlling the aperture as well as the brightness of the image. And one of the key things like I mentioned is that it's able to record videos up to 10 minutes long, which I could never do on the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. Those uh, even with a special setting, you need to you can only go up to three minutes long. And best is you can do landscape. Yes, it's cropped from its uh, whole portrait sensor, but you can do landscape built right in. And after you are done, you can download the videos and photos into the Rokit app, and you can then upload it into Google Photos. And one of the major functions besides taking photos and video will be audio memo recording. You can just ask Rokit to start recording audio, and it will record audio. And when you're recording audio, the light actually doesn't show up because the light here actually turns white and comes on when you're recording a video and that could get quite obtrusive or people would know that you are actually recording something. Now the AI assistant is another key highlight here. Now the AI assistant actually when you call it up it will reply with real-time notifications, very quick, very short replies. It sends it through ChatGPT and the best part is that it doesn't require a login to ChatGPT so you don't need any account and it doesn't mess with your whole history and the memory of ChatGPT, which you may be using on another platform. It runs the whole thing on Snapdragon AR1 platform. It delivers extremely fast response speed for smooth and intelligible experience. Hi, Rokit. Assuming I'm 51 years old today, how many more weeks do I have left before I die? And what date is that? If you are 51 years old today, and the average life expectancy in Singapore is 84 years, you have about 3 3 years left. 33 years times 52 weeks divided by year equals 1,716 weeks remaining. Adding 3 3 years to today's date, September 13,225, gives an estimated date of death, September 13,205 8. This is a statistical estimate based on average life expectancy. Actual lifespan can vary. Now, when it comes to other functionalities, there is also real-time translation. So real-time subtitles actually appear right in front of you during conversations. So let's do a translation. I'm going to get the computer to read something to me in Mandarin. And let's see whether this is able to translate it properly. Translation has started. 你好, 这里是个美丽的花园城市,我的名字是彼得,让我给你介绍这幅智能眼镜。now, Apple has launched the AirPods Pro 3. It does do translation in a couple of languages, but the thing is that the translation is going to be played back to you via audio, right? So it gets a little bit distracting. So the Apple AirPods Pro, they actually have to mute or kind of like bring down the sound of the speaker so that you can hear the translator. But this one, everything happens naturally. You're not distracted by any audio. The text actually comes onto the display and you are able to see the text, the translated text almost immediately. Now another function is the teleprompter for the creators out there. Sometimes you want to know what you want to speak. Maybe you're doing a presentation. You want something to prompt. Now this prompter is actually pretty intelligent and you can load your script and the talking points into the glasses and project the text into your field of view. So when you're talking and when you're delivering something uh, in speech, you actually the text can scroll automatically as you speak. So if the chat GPT AI 
functions and translations are not enough for you, you also have access to teleprompter, voice memo recordings, photos, taking videos, navigation and music playback. Now, in fact, I'm now reading off the script using the teleprompter function that is displaying the text right in front of my eyes. So this is one of the most intelligent scrolling teleprompter that I've seen implemented. Now, navigation is another function. It gives you turn-by-turn -turn cues directly into your glasses and it can guide you to a destination. And that is what Rokit is promising. Right now, it is not available yet. They are still developing. But if you pair it with your phone, you can actually get the voice notification from your Google Maps if you are navigating using Google Maps because these glasses, they can stream the notification from your phone itself. And any audio that's playing on your phone will actually come through here. So many, many years ago, when you look at a new phone, right, maybe this was when the first original iPhone was launched, nobody thought that it's going to be that critical to the entire livelihood. Today, you cannot walk out of your house without your phone because basically you cannot do anything. You could actually do without your wallet, but you cannot actually do without your phone, right? This is now 20 years since the um, whole smartphone revolution came about. Now, these glasses, they are today, they feel like what is the start of something else altogether. If you think about it, 20 years later, when these glasses come, you know, you're probably going to be able to do almost anything and everything through the glasses alone. I don't know what else is going to happen, but this is the start. This is the evolution of something that is big, that is important. Maybe next time the graphics is going to be better and you're able to make them look smaller and lighter. I don't know. This, uh, this is exciting time. So who is going to be using this? There are quite a few use cases I can think of. I actually love this because it allows me to communicate via ChatGPT without even taking out my phone. I can see notification pop up on the screen on in my field of view itself without actually touching the phone. Now, when you're traveling, it can translate menus. Read. The what is this item right here? The item being pointed to is Huangmen Pai Gu. Braised spare ribs, priced at 13 yuan. It's a braised dish made with pork ribs and a savory sauce, often cooked until tender and flavorful. This dish is popular in Chinese cuisine, especially in southern regions, and typically served hot with you rice. You read the subway maps, you can commute, and when you're outdoor, you, you, you need your hands free, you can actually ask Rokit to start recording when you don't have your hands free, when you're biking, when you're running. Everything can be done without ever touching your phone. Now, in business cases, the teleprompter, I think it does help for smooth presentations, but the thing is that it's not that well coated, so your audience might be able to see some of the green text that's floating up, which may not be very professional. And in the latest version of the glasses, they have improved the waveguide such that you can't even see the green light and the text from the front of the glasses. The reflections are cut down to almost zero. But truly, one of the best things is to be able to call ChatGPT, the AI function, to be able to look at your surrounding and just gives you information on what the surrounding is. So if you're hearing impaired or you're visually impaired, this actually does help. So it's not really just for fun. This actually boosts your productivity at work and if you're studying and if you're traveling, it actually proves to be a very fun AI companion. Like I said, now it is fun, but 20 years later, all these classes, they're going to be essential in your daily life. So I received one of the very first test units. The build quality actually feels very solid. The fit is very secure, much more secure than the metal Ray-Ban that I have because that it keeps slipping down. The display is actually bright enough to read even outdoors, right? Unless you're in bright direct sunlight, actually the text is crisp and very clear. So right now the app, it actually works only on Android. So I had to get an Android phone to do it. But the Rocket team told me that iOS support is coming very soon. So iPhone users don't need to worry. You will definitely be able to use these phones properly. Now using the Rocket app itself, you are able to transfer the photos and the videos that you have taken, check the recordings that you have recorded, and you're able to check your AI query history as well, and it works pretty smoothly. Now, in terms of battery life, now this, it, when I charge it to 100%, I go out for a walk and I try to record some videos, I'm coming back, after an hour, it goes about 80%, so I'm thinking that uh, in terms of whole day use, it's probably not whole day, the battery will last you about half a day or so of normal usage. And because I'm testing this quite intensively, I'm definitely churning through the battery a lot faster. Now the battery can be charged. Actually, if you use the charging cable and the other side is connected to a power bank, you can 
use it and charge it at the same time. Now it's just going to look like that. Wow, there's a dongle that is coming out and it doesn't look that great but it does work while it's being charged. So in summary, the Rokit Smart Glasses, they do have massive potential. I'm using early test units but the features like navigation, AI memo, they will be refined before launch. Now if the design becomes even more modern, I think they will appeal to a much wider audience because right now this is exactly how it looks and uh, there are no variations from this. So what makes them so valuable right now is how much they manage to pack into such a light 49 grams frame. You're not just getting a camera or a display, you can capture stabilized video, see real-time translations right in front of you, use a teleprompter, record meetings with your voice, or even get quick notification and navigation from the AI assistant. It feels like you're carrying multiple devices, but all just in a pair of glasses. Now in terms of price, let's talk price, right? The MSRP, the recommended retail price, is 599 US dollars. On Kickstarter, right now, it's going for 499 dollars. With my exclusive link, you're just going to be able to get it for 479 dollars. That's 20% discount. Well, not a lot, but you know, if you're watching this and you want to get it, that's 20 dollars savings for you. So if you want to experience the future of wearable AI, now is the best time to grab them back early, enjoy more. Check the Kickstarter page link below to support the campaign. And they did mention that once a million dollars in support is unlocked, they are going to get the charging case. But right now, it's already at 2.2 million. So go figure, rush in, get it. If you're up for some fun, this is it. Right now, it's fun. In the future, it's going to be critical and it's going to be essential to your daily life.